so right now it's about 11 o'clock and I just finished taking a shower because Liam uh, Liam uh, puked down my shirt this morning. I do have an appointment with the dentist because I just got um, my wisdom teeth <laughs> removed on the right side about four days ago and it's still hurting and at the site where it was removed there's like uh stitches and behind the stitches there's like some like a white patch that's like attached to my cheek and it hurts and um i'm just a little bit swollen it's tender right here and i guess by day four like this shouldn't be happening or whatever so i'm gonna go in and see what the problem is um so i have that to do today and then i just went on an interview yesterday for um, a fast food place uh, to start working nights. Yeah, that's Ariel. Yeah. And I got the job and I'm going to be starting soon. I don't really know, but I need to do the paperwork today and I need to get a food handler's card today. So um, I need to do that. And then, um, oh, okay. So about uh, going to do that, we actually don't have a car right now. And that's because we sold our um, car that we were, is it a lease or is it like when you get a car from the dealership and you finance it. So we had a truck that we just sold back to the dealership because uh, we're doing Dave Ramsey's baby steps. And Dave Ramsey is like a um, financial advisor on YouTube and he has like a huge platform. He talks about... Um, financial planning and fixing your finances and stuff like that. So we're um, in the process of doing that right now. We paid off a couple of our small debts and um, paid off my student loans. And um, I'm not in school right now and I don't have a degree. So that kind of sucks that <clears throat> I paid for school and didn't finish. But um, we just paid that off. And now we're saving up again so that we can get another car. We don't really use our car that much because we, um, my husband works where we live. <laughs> He's a maintenance supervisor and he works for, um, apartments and, um, he works where we live and we don't really use our car that often. And we only use it like on the weekends to go get groceries. And like, if I need to do that, I could use, like borrow a car from like one of my family members. I don't need you know, to have our vehicle, um, and the truck, you know, it was really expensive, like, trucks are not cheap, especially, like, the one that we bought was a 2020, yeah, a 2020, I think it was 2020, yeah, we had a 2020 truck, and before that, we had a 2013, I believe, Venza, like, Toyota Venza, and, um, that deal, it was a used car, it was a uh, a horrible deal we had a huge um, interest rate and um, that carried over to our new um, like onto the next loan with our new like our with our truck and so um, yeah we were just able to get out of all of that and pay like a small amount and just like cut our losses and give the car back and that way we don't have those payments every single month and it's you know not eating up you know our bed our budget it's not eating up our budget so for what we need right now i just feel like we just need a reliable you know small mid-size sedan or suv or whatever uh just to get us from point a, point a to point b uh for like grocery shopping and stuff like that and eventually we can get a car like that or like a, like a nicer car for us to do like vacations and stuff but now i'm in the point where like i just got my wisdom teeth removed on saturday four days ago and I need to go, you know, 20 minutes away to go do that. And, um, I don't have a car to, to, to do that. So my mom's going to come, um, on her lunch break and watch the kids so that I can go, um, see what's wrong with my, uh, see what's wrong with my mouth. Another thing I kind of wanted to talk about was, um, I recently have been feeling like from watching the Dave Ramsey videos. Oh, you're all set up. You can take a nap. <laughs> From watching all the Dave Ramsey videos, it makes me feel like I need a career and like being a stay at home mom isn't going to produce the kind of income that I want it to produce. 
And obviously it's not unless they like start a business or do something like that. But whenever I go to look at starting a business, it's just so overwhelming. And then they're like all the business, stru business structures that are out there that people try to sell you or people try to get you to follow their, you know, this is how you can start a business or whatever. You already see those videos, like those ads on YouTube. And um, I don't know, I just get overwhelmed. And I can't focus on doing that when like, I don't really have structure in my life right now. Like I feel really like, I mean, that's why I did the Dave Ramsey thing. Cause I, I feel like I don't really have that structure that I'm craving and I'm needing. Cause that's just the kind of person I am. And starting a business and being up to, left up to my own devices, I feel like, you know, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> um, it would be different if it was a business where I like had the skills and I had the knowledge and I knew what I was doing and all that stuff. So I was like really knowledgeable, knowledgeable about it, but I'm not. And it's some, like, if I'm going to start a business, I have to learn a skill to do that. And I'm just afraid that I'm going to like, I guess, I, I guess it's just fear. Like I'm afraid that I'm going to go and like learn a skill to do a business and then it not working out or doing it and wasting my time and being like you know what this isn't really what I want to do with my life like I don't know what I want to do with my life that is basically what's going on like I know that right now I want to be a stay-at-home mom I know that right now I want to be a stay-at-home mom be here with my kids be here with them until they go to go to school and um, you know that's like five years you know it's a really long time or unless you do preschool like three years um it's still a really long time and um I just know right now like child care is so expensive and we're not that fortunate to go and get a nanny so I'm going to just stay home with the kids during the day and then try to work at night I'm starting on it part-time and then eventually I can move up to full-time or become a manager. I don't really know if that's something I want to do. Um, this is just something for me to do something outside the house, um, help support the family, and um, get back into the work field. So that eventually when I do find out what I want to do, I have like, you know, I'm not out of the workforce for too long. Another thing is I was thinking about going to college and... Um, like doing that route instead of becoming an entrepreneur doing college i was going to just go to school because you know i graduated high school with you know honors 3.5 or some six or something i don't remember it was a while ago I was you know very studious in school and i was like you know what maybe i'll go back to school and do something and then i go and i look at careers and i look at you know what schooling and like certifications and licensing and stuff that you need for different jobs or different careers I, I should say for different careers and it's just like so overwhelming I just can't choose one it's like there's a lot to do. okay please don't touch that baby there's a lot of stuff that you can do there's a lot of options and because there's so many options um, either way, being an entrepreneur or going to school and getting, you know, a degree, I feel like if I choose one path, it's going to be the wrong one. Or, you know, like I'm not going to be able to complete it because it's just one thing. Like it's not like I feel like I'm really good at multitasking. Like that's something that I, I do really well. And that's why like in school, when I was like a senior in high school, I didn't need as many classes as I had, but I, you know, just took a full, a full like schedule of classes because I like to juggle things and I was also working at the time too. So I really like having a lot on my plate. I don't know why I do this to myself because it's kind of stressful, but it's like a kind of like a good stress. Like it gets me motivated to do more and to go the extra mile uh, when I have like multiple things to do. That's why it's really, like, being a stay-at-home mom is really, like, there's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of things, like, a lot of jobs that you have to do at home when you're a stay-at-home mom. You have to do the laundry, or chores. Let me just say chores, because, you know, there's several chores. Laundry, dishes, um, vacuuming, cleaning the bathroom, cleaning the kitchen, making dinner, Getting the kids dressed, getting yourself dressed, like doing anything for yourself is like the hardest thing as a stay-at-home mom. But, um, you okay? 
there's a lot of different jobs that like a lot of different hats that uh, stay-at-home moms wear um, and then on top of that you're doing you know things for the family like either planning vacations or uh, uh, like budgeting or doing something with like um, you know taking care of like the bills and stuff so like there's different things that like you do as a stay-at-home mom and like this being a stay-at-home mom is really rewarding for me and I don't think I can give it up like I don't want my kids to go to daycare that's not something that I want I want to be present and I want to save our family money by me staying at home because whatever job that I can with the skills that I have is like fast food okay I'm you know proficient in fast food <laughs> the only jobs that I've had was like in high school I I worked at Chipotle and then um And then like in college, was it college? Yeah, in college I worked at Forever 21. And then uh, that I went to college for a year and then I got out of college and I started working at Nothing But Cakes, which is like a bakery. Yeah, it's like a um, franchising bakery. I don't know if it's a franchise, but it's a bakery that's like a lot of places. Like. They have multiple locations all over the United States. But um, I've worked in food for a long time. And like that's where my like experience is. So if I was going to go out and get a job for it to help support our family, it would be, you know, you know, making around minimum wage or a little bit more, which isn't really going to do much for the family. Like that's going to all go to childcare. So you might as well just not work and watch your kids i don't know that's why i'm doing that but i decided that as much as i like being a stay-at-home mom i crave human interaction <laughs> so i um applied to work at a fast food restaurant and the reason why fast food is because they have a lot of positions at night and on weekends and that'll really work for my kind of schedule when I'm watching the kids during the day and then I can go in at night. So I applied and then I got an interview. Um, so I applied on Monday, got an interview Tuesday, which was yesterday. And today I'm filling out all the information and stuff to get started. So I'm really excited. You know, I think I'm going to be like fairly tired because I still have an infant a two-month-old that still wakes up at night and um, I'm gonna be working like a later shift and getting home pretty late and then um, I'm gonna be you know taking care of my kids during the day so it's gonna be a little bit difficult and a lot on my plate but I'm I'm pretty excited about it yeah I feel really good about it I don't know I'll let you guys know it's really difficult to get things done with kids um, by yourself um, especially with a toddler and a uh, two-month-old it's really difficult and like I think it's difficult I don't know maybe I'm just making up excuses or whatever I feel like it's difficult okay for me it is even taking them to the doctor to go get them checked out and to get their shots and stuff it's uh, difficult for me because when I take them in like I just overthink things and I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do if like my toddler runs off? Like, and she runs off a lot, even in the doctor's office. And this has happened. I went to the doctor's office the first, um, to their pediatrician, I mean. So I went to their pediatrician the first time by myself, like a month ago. No, it was like a few weeks ago. It was like three weeks, two or three weeks ago. I went to the uh, pediatrician by myself and I was like so nervous and like, it went like better than I expected it to go. But when I went in, I had my, um, like I had my uh, son on my chest. So I was carrying him in a carrier. And then I was just holding my um, 20 month old's hand. And um, when we went in, my two month old had to get his shot. So that was about like two weeks ago, yeah. He had to get his shots. So I knew there was gonna be some crying. And then my daughter was just gonna be everywhere trying to run away you know i'm trying to um you know i don't know i knew that was gonna happen and then when i went in it did happen okay i went in and she was trying to get out of the room so whenever you check in they take you to a room and then you're sitting in there and waiting for the doctor to come in and once the doctor came in she was like wow 
there's the exit like I can just leave so she was just like leaving and running all around the doctor's office and while well, my son was getting checked out with by the doctor so that was that happened and I had to run after her okay she's crying let me go see what's wrong with her okay so I'm getting her a snack yeah. do you want Cheerios do you want um you want these I'm deciding between making teriyaki chicken uh, with ri like white rice and um, or brown rice doesn't really matter. White or brown rice, I have both. Um, the thing though is that I have a 10 minute brown rice that I got from Target. Um, that's like an instant 10 minute brown rice. And then I have the white rice that I had to put in the rice cooker and that takes like about 15, 20 minutes. And then I have a three minute brown rice. So I have a couple different rices for like the time that I have to make my dinner. So I have a couple of different options. So I'll just choose, you know, what time allows. The three minute brown rice that I have is from Trader Joe's in their like frozen refrigerated section. And it's so good. I really like it, but they changed the label on it this time. So it's like a different label. I don't know if it's like a different brand or something or like not brand. It's obviously Trader Joe's, but if it's like a different, if they change the, uh, like the type of rice or the recipe, <clears throat> but that's my favorite rice. It's really like moist. I you know people don't like that word, but it, it doesn't dry out. So that's why I like it. Um, and then it's three minutes in the microwave. So it's really quick, but I'm either going to do that or I'm going to do chicken shawarma tonight because we have like non bread. Non is so good. It's delicious. Uh, we have non bread, and I picked up some tzatziki sauce. It's, I don't know how to say it. Um, <laughs> that creamy, like, garlicky sauce in Mediterranean food. I picked that up at Trader Joe's, and I picked up, like, some lettuce and a tomato and some onion. I was gonna make a little, like, chicken shawarma sandwiches or whatever, or chicken shawarma wraps. So I was gonna make that. So I'm either, I'm either gonna make that. <laughs> the teriyaki chicken or the chicken shawarma but whatever i have to make i have to um, marinate it like soon so i have to whatever it's gonna be i have to marinate it i don't know it's kind of sounding like the uh i don't know either of them please don't put your toes in my hair please don't it's kind of <laughs> lola don't do that baby it's kind of sounding like either one of those is gonna be what i'm gonna do tonight so I'll show you guys what I do. I don't really know. Okay, baby. Is that mommy's hair? Mommy's hair? Lola's hair. <laughs> mommy's hair. Lola's hair. Lola, where's your nose? Where's your nose? Good job. Yay. Where's your eyes? We're still working on eyes. No, where's your eyes? Eyes? I mean, you touched it, but I don't know. Okay. Where's your mouth? Where's your mouth? Okay, I guess we're done with that. So, I need to get my food handler's card. I need to fill out hiring forms. And I need to... I need to cook dinner, but I'm gonna marinate. I need to marinate the meat. So if I don't do that, and if it doesn't sit long enough, it's not gonna take to the meat. So I'm making the chicken. So marinate the chicken. Okay, and then I need to vacuum. So that's something that I need to sneak in here today. And then I have clothes in the dryer that I need to fold. That's been in the dryer for like two days. I don't know. Do you guys do that sometimes? Do you like start a load of laundry and then keep it in the dryer for like a few days because you forget about it? Because I do that a lot. Okay. The only reason why I know that it's in the dryer is because I went to go get... Um, like something to wear today and I realized that I'm missing a couple things in my closet and I'm missing it because I never folded the clothes that are in the dryer 
What's the matter? Why are you crying? Okay, they're both crying right now, so let me see what they want. And, I'll, and then I'll come back. Okay, so it's about 12 o'clock, and um, I just calmed down Liam and Lola. That's my chair. Um, I need to make Lola something for lunch. And I made some goulash last night, which is like my husband's grandmother's recipe. And um, I'm just going to heat that up real quick for her to eat for lunch. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to eat anything right now because I need to go get my mouth checked out. And um, I'm not really, my husband just texted me. I'm not really that hungry because I'm nervous. So I'm just going to wait until I get back to eat. I'll probably just eat something small or whatever. Before I go though, I do need to rinse my mouth off. Rinse my mouth out with a salt water. With a salt water rinse. Um, and then I'm going to uh, marinate the chicken for tonight. So, I think I decided what I want to do. And I think I'm going to do... Uh, teriyaki chicken tonight because it's just super easy. Okay, so we get our chicken bone skinless chicken thighs from Costco. Um, I bought this from Costco too, so I'm gonna use this marinade and let that sit for it's a shake well. It doesn't really say on here how long to let it sit. I don't know, I let it sit for like a few hours, like. At least like four to six hours I let it sit. So right now it's 12 and if we start cooking these around five. Get this going. I don't know if it's just me, but the one with chicken is just kind of gross. And like I just pour, it says one tablespoon is a serving. I just pour it to cover the chicken. Um, I don't really measure it. I should really get a food a food scale that way I'm able to like measure out the food better and um, see how much you know like how many like pounds or grams of food we eat a night and that way I can like really figure out how much we need for the month because we get our our meat by the month. Okay, so we get our meat once a month at Costco. And that helps us to cut down on um, how much our grocery bill is by the end of the month. Because sometimes like, when I, I go to the store every single week, like once a week. And sometimes I overspend some weeks because I'm like, you know what? Um, let me just get some meat at, you know, a place that is more convenient. Like if I go over to Safeway, which here on the West Coast is kind of like a Kroger. Wait, is it like a Kroger? No, that's fries. Okay, Safeway is like a, I guess, yeah, it's like a Kroger. It's a little bit like a Kroger um, if you're like on the East Coast. Um, but anyways, when you get meat there, it's a little bit more expensive and sometimes you have to get it on like when there's dills and stuff. But at Costco, the meat price is pretty much like stay, you know, where they were. Except for pork. Pork has gone up a little bit, I've noticed. Okay, let me let me pour this in and show you. Um, it smells really good. So I just take my bag of chicken. Okay, let me, let me tilt this down a little bit. Okay, take my bag of chicken. And then I pour the sauce in. So I just look and see if all of the chicken is covered. So let me just go ahead and close this real quick. And then I just like mix it around in there. 
Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more sauce. This is what it looks like right now. I don't really feel like it's like that covered to me. I, I like a little bit more sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and sauce that up a little bit more. Okay. I'll just add a little, a little bit more sauce. Lola's running around. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so now my bag looks like that. It's a little bit more coated to me. I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna let that marinate for five hours, like I said. And then I'm gonna have my brother cook this on the grill for me. I'll see if he'll do it. I don't really know. If not, I might have to ask my mom to come over and watch the kids and then I have to figure out what, how to grill. Mike, watch a YouTube video. Okay. YouTube's always great for learning things, right? Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the salt water rinse. And I'm going to um, just mix a little bit of salt, some water, obviously, salt water. Uh, okay, hold on. Let mommy do her salt water rinse and then I'll get your. It's probably cooled off enough. Mommy, mommy. Okay. So I'm gonna use kosher salt because that's what I have right now. I'm gonna pour some in there. Baby. Okay. I'm gonna do warm, warm water. Alright, mix that up. Oh, my mom's calling me. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I just did my salt water rinse real quick after I was done on the phone with my mom. She's gonna be up here in a little bit. So my mom's at home with the kids. Um, I'm gonna go in and um, see what the dentist says and um, see what's gonna happen. So I need to drive over there real quick and then I'll let you guys know what happens. It's cold today. My dentist said that it is not an infection. That what I have in there is like new tissue forming and it looks kind of scary. So that's why I thought it was an infection. And um, my mouth still really hurts, but he said he's gonna send me antibiotics to my pharmacy. So that's really good. Uh, so I'm gonna go pick those up and then I'll head home to watch the kiddos. So I'm back home and I'm uh, about to eat lunch. I'm going to eat the same thing that Lola ate for lunch. And um, I just wanted to say that while I was at the dentist, I like literally almost cried in front of like my dentist <laughs> because I was so um, scared, nervous. I didn't know what was going on and I thought I had an infection. And so, yeah, like I literally almost cried. I uh, still want to cry because of the pain, but anyways, I'm gonna eat my lunch. It smells good, looks good, and I'm hungry. So, see you guys when I'm done with that. So, I just finished filling out all of my um, onboarding forms for my job, and I'm just holding Liam now. I did it while he was sleeping, and i um, about to go start cooking dinner. Kyle's going out to uh, grill the teriyaki chicken that I made earlier. So I'll show you guys what that looks like in a second. And I made the to-do list, but wasn't able to finish everything on there. So that kind of sucks, but I need to uh, do the dish, do the dishes, unload and load the dishwasher um, so that I can load the stuff for, for dinner tonight and won't have to worry about that tomorrow morning. So right now I'm in the kitchen and I'm going to get out the stuff for dinner. Kyle is outside grilling the chicken. And um, I'm going to do some organic brown rice from Trader Joe's. And, <laughs> and um, a bag of Target veggies. And I'll show you guys what that looks like in a second.
I actually have a lot of dishes to do, so I'm gonna do them um, right now, actually. Okay, so I just finished unloading, unloading and loading the dishwasher and now I'm waiting on Kyle with the chicken. Um, I just put the vegetables in the microwave and now the rice is in there. I think it just beeped, so I think it's done. And then, um, yeah, I just decided to sit down for a little bit <laughs> because I'm just a little bit tired. My back kind of hurts. Okay, so we have our rice that I season with butter, thyme, and uh, pepper and salt. And then we have the veggies. Liam's crying a little bit, but that's okay. We have the veggies that I have butter on them. I have Mrs. Is it Mrs. Dash? Oh, no. It's just Dash. I have this stuff on the veggies. Um, and then I have the teriyaki chicken that I marinated earlier. And we're going to have this for dinner. So, looks yum. Thank you.